In today's video, I'm going to show you the exact process I use to choose the right Shopify themes for my clients. If you are about to redesign your Shopify store, or if you are thinking about converting your Shopify store to Shopify 2.0, or even if you are just starting out from scratch with Shopify, choosing your store theme is the first decision that you should be making. So you better make the right decision. Hi there, I am Rehab, an e-commerce coach, and on this YouTube channel, I share with you videos related to e-commerce, entrepreneurship, and more. So, if you are interested about these topics, and if you want to stay up to date with everything related to e-commerce, Shopify, and more, I highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell, because in this way, you will get notified each time I publish a new video. And now, let's get back to our topic. Here are some things that you must keep in mind while you are choosing your Shopify store theme. So, let's start with the tip number one. Always, always use themes from the Shopify theme store. Years ago, when I first started with e-commerce, I used to use and recommend a third-party theme or actually multiple third-party themes. They were cheaper, they offered better options and features. That's why I, I like them and I use them. But not anymore. I highly recommend you to only go with the themes that you find within the Shopify theme store because all of these themes are supported, they are updated, Shopify made sure that they are good, they load fast, and they are improving these themes year after year. And not only that, it's a one-time payment. So you pay for the theme once and then you get all the updates in the future for free. So go to the Shopify theme store and start from there. Now for tip number two, I always recommend you to consider theme or themes that look the closest to what you have in mind. So always go to the demo stores and check those. Make sure that they look like what you have in mind. They offer the features you want, they have the appearance, the photo sizes, the animations you have in mind. This is a very good point to start with. Your store design is very related to your branding. So making sure that you are choosing a theme that looks like what you want will make your life way, way easier. And it means that you don't need to change so many things about the themes in order to have like the store you are dreaming about. Now for tip number three, whenever you are considering a theme, I highly recommend you to check other stores that they are using the same exact theme. This will give you a very good idea about how your store is going to look because the demo store is usually filled with high resolution photos and videos and stuff like that. But you want to see something from the real life, a real brand like you. So go to other stores that they are using your theme and see how their stores look like. I'm going to show you later in this video how you can explore stores that they are using your same theme. So stay with me to make sure that you don't miss that. Now moving to tip number four. Always make sure that the team you are choosing offer advanced product recommendation features. I'm talking about things like cross-selling, complementary products, lookbooks, and stuff like that. Having these features is extremely important because they can help you to increase your store average order value and your store conversion rate. So having them within your theme means that you don't need any third-party app to get them, and this will save you a lot of money. My tip number five for you is to consider all the Shopify stores that you like and go and check what theme they are using. This could be a very good starting point as well. If you want to know how to know which theme a certain store is using, stay with me because I'm going to show you later in this video how to know that. My final tip for you, and it's extremely important, and it's always to make sure that the theme you are choosing looks good on mobile. Usually all Shopify themes look good on mobile but it's always good to double check and to make sure that everything that you liked on the desktop version, it's still valid and it still looks good on the mobile version. On mobile, always look for two things, functionality and design, and functionality before design. You want to make sure that everything on mobile is easily accessible, it's user-friendly, that people can click, can move around, and can enjoy their experience on your store. And now we are going to move to my screen and I'm going to show you the exact process I took in order to find the right theme or themes for one of my newest clients. She sells chocolate bites and chocolate drinks, so food is her industry. And defining the industry is very important because each industry will require different features from the theme. That's why this is where I usually start. Choosing a theme from the Shopify theme store is actually a very fun and engaging thing to do. So stay with me and watch what's coming because it's extremely important and it will help you to find the right theme for your niche and for your store. So here I am inside of the Shopify theme store and from here I want you to go to all themes. And the first thing I will do is to filter by my industry and by paid. I want to only see the paid themes because usually they are more professional. Then I will go in here and I will filter by industry. 
If you scroll down, you will see other filters that you can use, like the catalog size or the features. I usually don't use these filters. I prefer to explore all the available themes and test them one by one, or at least test the ones I like the most. Okay, as you can see in here, we have the previews of these different themes, as well as like some main points about each one of them, as well as the price. Remember that whenever you are buying a theme from the Shopify theme store, it's only a one-time payment. So you only pay once and that's it. And you get all the updates of the future. So scrolling down, you will see all the available options and you can start to explore them one by one. This is exactly what I have done. I've explored them one by one and I liked some of them and I actually tried them. So I'm going to show you first how to explore the theme to see if you are going to like it. Then I'm going to show you how to test it yourself. So starting from here, this is the theme. So I will go in here to view demo store. In here you can see if the same theme is offering different styles or not. So for example, this theme is offering three different styles. Well, these styles will be like different ways of how you can design your theme or how you can tweak the options or the features. So whatever you see in one style is applicable to, your, to any other style. So if you see, for example, a feature in one style, it means that you can use it on your store, whether you have used the same exact style or another one. And I'm going to scroll down in here to check out this theme. I usually search for specific sections. Like for example, I like to see if the theme offer a lookbook or if the theme offer a photo comparison section or if the theme, for example, supports complementary products. These are the products that you will see next to the buy box where you see something like, for example, pair it with or uh, better buy it with or something like this. So I keep scrolling, I look at the theme, I go to the product pages, I go to the collection pages, I explore everything about the theme. And let's say I like this theme and I want to test it. What I do next is I go back to, my, to the theme store, to the theme page, and in here I will go and click on try theme. Remember, I have told you that I'm going to show you how to see other stores that are using the same exact theme. So stay with me. Okay, so when you click on try theme, you will be adding the trial version of the theme. And it's totally free and you don't need to pay for it at all. You only pay for the theme when you want to publish it. So that's it. You can try as many themes as you wish. As long as you don't publish them, you don't need to pay any dollar. Okay, I'm gonna sign into my Shopify account. After downloading the free trial of this theme, I will find it in here under online store under themes. And as you can see, this is the trial version of this theme. What I would do now is to click on customize and start to customizing this theme. I want to check what are the sections this theme offers, what kind of features it offers, how much I can customize this theme, so how, how far can I go with the colors, the typography, everything. And after doing this, I will decide whether I will go with this theme or I need to try other themes. I usually prefer to try several ones, compare with them, and then make an informed decision. So, once I'm here, what I want you to do is actually to scroll down and click on add section. When you do that, you will see all the available sections that you can use and add to any of your pages. Okay, and this is where you should be taking good care. And you should start and make sure that this list contain everything you need. So let's say you want to have a video section on your store. Let's say you want to have a lookbook on your store. Let's say you want to have a section where it shows your store, your retail store map. Or let's say you want a section that shows your menu if you are selling food. So here is the place where you should be searching for these sections and making sure that they exist. Okay, so you scroll down, you explore them, you can even test them, you can even um, try to enter the information, see how they look and make sure that they fit what you need. In addition to that, the second thing I look at is the theme settings, the customization. I want to know how far I can go with the customization of these themes. You must know that Shopify themes are different. Some themes are more customizable than other themes. So you go in here, you look at the colors, for example. You see what are the colors that you can change, what are the colors that you can't change. You can, after that, for example, go to the typography. Same thing, look at the fonts, see if you are okay with how far or how much they allow you to customize and see if you are okay with this or not.
As I told you, I usually like to try several themes, compare with them and decide which one is best for me and which one offers the things that I need the most. At the beginning of this video, I promise you that I'm going to show you two things. First, I'm going to show you how to check other stores that they are using the same theme you are considering. And second, I promise you that I'm going to show you how to know the theme a certain store is using. So let's start with the first thing. Let's say you are considering this theme. What I recommend you to do is scroll down in here and each theme usually offers a section where you can see other stores using the same exact theme. So in here we have these different stores and you can go in here and click on these stores and explore them. Now let's say you want to do something else. You have a store that you like and you want to guess what theme they are using. What you can do is use a Chrome extension called Koala Inspector. And when you use this Chrome extension, you go in here, when you are on the store, you click on it and it will tell you what theme the store is using. For example, for this theme, it's the fresh Shopify theme. And when you click on it, it takes you to the theme page. Thank you for watching this video and for staying up until the end. I truly really appreciate that. Before leaving, I want to invite you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to be able to attract, convert, and retain more customers. This workshop is totally free. You just need to go down to the description and to sign up. Thank you again for staying up until the end. Before leaving, don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel, and to hit the notification bell because in this way, you will get notified each time I publish a new video. See you next week. Bye-bye.